Hi guys, welcome back to the Paxton Creek Garden. Today we're gonna show you how to do 3G cutting on a cucumber vine and get third generation branches and uh, increase your production by almost 100%. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you are new to our channel, please uh, press subscribe button. That way you will get a regular update from our channel. So what I'm showing here is the second generation branch that is coming out of, this, um, uh, out of the leaves of the first generation branch. And here is the first generation branch crowd, crown and here is the second generation branch that is trying to come out and, or wine you can say. And we want to prune this first generation uh, wine or branch. Be just because it is gonna have more male flowers compared to the second generation branch and if, if you want to count about six set of leaves and prune the crown uh, of the cucumber plant just I'm gonna show you in a minute and I'm gonna cut that crown using the pruners um, what this will do is this will uh, make sure that en all the energy of the plant will go into second developing the second generation branches and second generation branches will have more balanced flowering male and female flower in the ratio of 50 50 that will increase production so let's see it again this is my main wine that is first generation wine and I'm gonna uh, take the top part off that way it will develop the second generation wines that are coming off of the um, side of the leaf and again that will have more balanced flowering and does increase your production so that is why we do the uh, first generation cutting and that we will call it uh, 2G cutting to get the second generation line so here is the uh, here is the diagram so let's understand this process using a diagram so here you can see um, this wine has about 11 leaves or six set of leaves or more and it is mainly showing uh, male flowers that are shown in yellow and uh, you know couple of female flowers that are coming up <laughs> in a minute in a green and yellow color um, to make a green part as a uh, female part of the female flower and you know you are not getting that many cucumbers because you are getting less female flowers so to to avoid this and increase the production we will chop or prune the top part off after counting six set of leaves or 11 leaves in total and what that will do is give you the second generation branches and send energy towards them so they will start developing and producing flowers. So again, I'm, I have counted that there are six set of leaves and now I'm gonna cut it after the sixth set of leaves. You can see in the red, that's where I will cut or prune and after you do that um, you know you, you see nice set of growth within a week or two and after that you want to do the 3G cutting the, the cutting to get the third generation branch so let's understand that uh, first wire diagram and then we'll see it live so here is in the blue there are second generation branches or wines that are developing after I prune the first generation branch at the sixth set of leaves. So here is it developing, you know, producing leaves and it will produce flowers.
so again here yellow uh, is the male flower and in a little bit we will see green and yellow mix there will be female flowers and you can see they will be in 50 50 ratio so by the second generation branches you have already increased your production And here you saw that almost five male and five female flowers. And here in the uh, vine, that's where we cut the first generation vine. And you can see there is already a balance. You'll see uh, we are seeing female flowers and some male flowers here and there on the second generation branch. And with that, there is also third generation branch that is there, but it's not developing quite yet. So what you wanna do is prune this second generation vine that is growing at the top like we did with the first generation and what that will do is here you can see I, I'll take that top for, for, uh, crown off of the second generation branch and prune it like so and what that will do is again divert the energy to the third generation branches like that one I'll zoom in and you can see that will develop into the main uh, that will develop into the third generation branch or that one and there is one below so you will get like three four third generation branches and which will have all female female flowers 100 percent female flowers so let's see again with the diagram in the, in the orange you can see the um, third generation branch be, uh, developing and it will bear all female flowers now when you do this um, the 2G, uh, third, 3G cutting of the second generation branch, you want to make sure you don't apply it to all of your second generation branch. You just want to do it on couple because you still need male flowers. So leave couple of second generation branches alone. Do not prune them to get the third generation branch. Only prune one or two. So that way you will have uh, enough male flower and a lot more female flower so that way you get a lot more production. So on the left, you can see I'm leaving, um, you know, uh, two second generation branches alone. I'm not pruning them. Uh, it will, you know, let it develop by itself. That they will have balanced flowering anyways. You will get cucumbers out of them too. Plus you will get cucumbers out of your third generation branch that is shown in orange here. So let me zoom in to there and you can see the third generation branch is developed and when the flowering starts um, or yeah th then you will have all female flowers there and they will get pollinated from the second generation or first generation male flowers and you will get cucumbers so you will you have pretty much increase your cucumber production by 100 percent on the third generation branch and you will have cucumbers every week every day pretty much for your family and friends and lots of harvest and you will love growing them uh, keep, make sure you keep watering and fertilizing every 15 days or so uh, either organic or um, chemical fertilizer whatever you use um, and uh, keep providing them nutrition use by fertilizing so that is it folks for today's video um, if you have enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to our channel that will motivate us to keep bringing new videos like this and again i apologize for the drawing skills here <laughs> uh hope we'll improve it and uh, thank you so much we'll see you in the next video
happy harvesting and garden.